Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Plus Size in Canada. My name is Miranda and I went shopping. <laughs> and no one's surprised. <laughs> I really do love shopping and I got a message from one of my friends, Macy. Her and her mom, Natasha, were shopping at Winners and they found some stuff and they texted me about it and I was like, babe, babe, I gotta go to Winners. <laughs> So I went to Winners. <laughs> and I also went to the Dollarama because it had been a while since I actually walked through every single aisle there. And I get messages from my friends from you guys all the time, sending me like screenshots, pictures of things found in the Dollarama amongst many other stores. But um, specifically, I was looking for Disney princess canvas prints. I, I literally got more than 30 messages. <laughs> about these friggin' canvas prints and I have yet to find them. Um, we've gone to the Dollarama, different ones, a few times to get treats to take to the movie theater and every time I've scanned the home decor section looking for these Disney prints, I'm still hoping I'll find them at some point. I feel like it takes a while for the things out west to make their way to the east coast. Maybe they just like get the stuff before we do. I'm not really sure how it works. I've never worked at the Dollarama, but man, that would be a job for me. Let me tell you that <laughs> I I can't work in a store, guys. It would not, it just would not go over well. It would, a paycheck, where? I, I don't know, I spent it, you know? So I have yet to find those Disney canvas prints, but while I was walking through the Dollarama, I was like, there's gotta be some Disney stuff here. Like not just in the home decor, there's gotta be like more stuff. So I took some clips while I was shopping. I will play those for you, but spoiler alert, I didn't find much Disney stuff for adults at the Dollarama. Disney is for everyone. It doesn't matter how young you are, how old you are. If you love it, it loves you back and it will return your text messages, okay? It will call you in the morning to see how you're doing, okay? Disney is for everyone and um, it doesn't matter if you're 36 or 63 or 103 or three. Like, it's for you, okay? It's for you too. Um, I feel like I'm trying to sell you on Disney. That's not what I'm trying to do. Like, I just, I get really excited about it and I just can't help it. Like, <laughs> it just comes naturally to me. Okay, Disney, you can sponsor me any day and I will do anything. Like, I would do anything for love. Serious question. What won't he do? Curtis and I were talking about this the other day. And I won't do that what do what i someone explain i should have googled it and now i kind of want to google it to find out but i'm gonna let you guys tell me because what the frig won't he do if he will do anything for love that literally says he'll do anything for love but why would you say you won't do that it just why is this a love song i don't get it i don't get it anyways here's the clips of me shopping and i'll meet you back here in a second
I did go to winners first, um, but I'm probably going to title this video Dollarama haul. So I want to give you the Dollarama haul stuff first, just in case if people are like, I don't care what you got at winners. I'm here for the Dollarama, you know, so I'm going to hook you guys up first. Um, spoiler alert. It's not much. Okay. I really did try to find like balling on a budget for Disney, like frugal Disney princess. Like I would love for that to be my title. Wouldn't that be fun? Um, so I'm not giving up the hopes of winning that title. I am still going to continue to try to find Disney items like on the cheap. You know what I mean? Like not cheap quality, but like cheap, like in money. Okay. <laughs> First, I'm going to give you a little bit of a Dollarama story time. Okay. In New Brunswick, in Moncton, where I live, there's no mask mandate anymore. You can still wear a mask if you want to, because of course, you can also wear underwear if you want to, and you don't have to if you want. Like, it's your choice. Um, I choose, well, I'm not wearing underwear now, but also, <laughs> I do choose to not wear a mask. I just try to stay socially distant from anyone and everyone, and um, that's what I'm doing for now. I always do bring a mask in, and actually, I think I had a mask on my wrist in both stores that I went to, Winners and Dollarama, just in case, um, because some stores still do require it. But anyways, okay, moving on. In Dollarama, there was a big man, a, a B-O-M, a big old man, okay? <laughs> and he's one of these men, and I'm not like, no bullying, okay? Like, I'm not coming on like a bully. Um, but he was just a big old man, okay? Um, and he had a little um, breathing problem. Like he was a mouth breather. Um, and I, <laughs> I really do have like obsessive compulsive disorder. And one of the ways that I have it is like by hearing other people's noises, it really sets me off. I don't, I, it's, I think there's actually also another name for that, which I've told that I have that as well, but I don't know what the name is. I just consider it anxiety and it's all my, you know, <laughs> craziness. Um, but like when people are chewing it, I, I want to gouge my eyes out. Like I just, like, I can't take it. I really, and breathing. It's like, I'm so glad you're breathing. I don't want you to stop breathing, but could you tone it down? Because it's getting really obnoxious. Like I know Skylar actually is a mouth breather too. And it really bothers me. And he'll be like, Oh, I'll just go through some results. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I really truly can't um, I, I can't change it. Like it's, I, I, I have issues. Okay. I got issues. You got them too. <laughs> um, anyways. Okay. Mouth breather, old man. Um, he was, um, walking down the aisle and I was walking down the aisle and I, and I kept actually trying to like go different ways than he was and like in the dollarama like you could actually like run an olympic race in there because the aisles are like so this way and that way and then there's a hole here like a gap and then anyways whatever no big deal um i was on purpose trying to avoid this big mouth breather old man because he didn't have a mask on and he was struggling like to walk because he he was old and big and he also was just breathing really like a lot. And so I was on purpose trying to avoid him. I dodged him through the whole store. And then I went to look at the sunglasses. Here they are. Okay, do you like them? Well, I walked over to the sunglasses and I looked at them all because I was like, oh, like maybe I could find some like cute, like Disney style princess um, sunglasses. And I think these are only $1.25. So anyways, I saw these ones and I picked them up and I was going to like try them on, look in the mirror, like, like a civilized human being would do when buying sunglasses. And while I'm attempting to do this, I notice big mouth breather old man walking down this little no exit aisle. This was in the corner of the store. It's a dead end. Okay. I had nowhere to go. So I noticed him literally walking over that way. The only thing that's in this aisle are um, engagement, like bridezilla type um, party stuff and sunglasses. And I'm thinking he's not getting married. He's not buying no sash. So he's probably either stalking me or coming to get sunglasses. And I looked over at him while he is continuing to shuffle down the aisle. And I was like, are you going to get shades? And he's like, yeah, I want the same thing. And I'm like, 
okay? And I like got out and was like, get away from me. And I brought these with me thinking, I'll just try them on over there. He'll probably just grab a sunglasses and then leave. But no, he like literally stood there for so long and I was like, whatever. So I tried these on in the store on my phone, which maybe you saw. And then I went right to the um, cash and um, left. <laughs> and then actually, <laughs> not even kidding. Um, I went to Giant Tiger, but you saw that haul yesterday. I went to Giant Tiger anyways, right after. And guess who came into Giant Tiger? Okay, and not bullying at all, like literally just stating facts. And um, also, like I'm itchy now. <laughs> I really do have issues. I'm not trying to hide them. But anyways, um, do these remind you of any Disney princess? <laughs> I'm totally flustered. Um, these remind me of no Disney princess. But I will, I'd like, you know what? I, I just decided, you know, it would be fun to do like, Disney princess inspired looks, including sunglasses. You know what I'm saying? That would be fun. Maybe I could do that in my future. <laughs> but anyways, $1.25 for some shades. They actually are pretty comfy. I mean, they feel like El Cheapo, but it's $1.25, so it is cheap. Um, okay, also got some of these, bam, bam. <laughs> um, one's for me and one's for Winnie, okay? I like a puff. I like it sudsy and I like a lot of soap and then I get that like body wash smell. It's one of my favorite things. That's why sometimes I do two for showers, one in the morning, one at night. I really like to feel clean. Is that a part of my anxiety? Maybe. I, I mean, everything is at this point. Just everything is. <laughs> Have you ever watched this YouTube channel called Plus Size in Canada? Eh? Okay. There's a little boy on that vlog sometimes. His name is Cooper. He's a ginger and he's adorable. And he loves his dog, <laughs> who is literally right there whining. Um, he loves his dog probably more than anyone or anything else in the world. And he also despises dog hair, fur. He hates it. Like he absolutely, I think he has a little anxiety over it, over it because he stresses out every single morning, especially when school's in session. Um, he desperately cannot go to school with dog hair on him at all. So, you may have seen in some vlogs, literally, because I've caught it a few times, actually quite a few times when I'm editing, I won't even notice, but Cooper's in the background doing this to himself, trying to get that dog hair off. Seriously, I actually just saw it a couple vlogs ago and it made me laugh because like, I don't even, he just does it all the time. And because he does it all the time, um, we bought a Costco pack of these not that long ago and they're gone. I don't know if he's losing them or literally using them like I use floss because I floss like all day long. Cause I, <laughs> let's just talk about all my issues in one day. Oh no, let's not. We're not going to do that. Um, but anyways, got this and this is like the gain one and not Chip and Joanna, but I do love them too. But, um, this is like the laundry detergent, you know, so I got that for coops. Um, got myself a new toothbrush, super exciting. I wanted to get one for Curtis too, but all they had was the soft bristles and um, he needs a medium. Really, he just needs to use a tree branch because pff, it doesn't matter. Like he pushes so hard on his teeth that his toothbrush always goes like no matter what. Um, okay, book. Um, what is this called? A calendar book. I use this for work, for babysitting. I used to run a home daycare. Now I just babysit because, you know, COVID, you know, you know how it is. Um, okay, two more things. Salt, salt, do I have my salt at home? Yeah, right here, look, look at this one. But I thought this, I might already have one of these in the trailer, but I thought this would be cute for Winnie. Winnie loves salt. Like when we're having um, rice, she wants to put the salt on her rice herself. She actually, last time we were camping, my mother-in-law was like, uh, Miranda, I don't think Quinny should be doing that. And I was like, what is she doing? <laughs> she was literally sitting around the campfire doing this to her salt into her hand and licking it. <laughs> so why did I buy Winnie a smaller size? I just, I saw it and I was like, oh, cute. Let me buy it. Like, you know, as you do when you're in the Dollarama. I really... For a second, I was like, do I have salt in the trailer already? I might, 
but I'm not sure. We haven't camped in a few weeks, so, but we're going tomorrow. We're going tomorrow. So actually, when you're watching this, we're going today. So exciting. Hopefully we have good weather because right now, it's pouring rain, pouring rain. And if you've been following along in the vlogs, I am having um, serious issues with Satan's spawn, um, the East Coast scorpion, known as the earwig or the tweezer bug. And um, they're trying to breed and they're doing it in my house. And I just, I don't want this. Like I did not ask for this. <laughs> Anyways, and rain wetness is like so good for them. And I just like, I can hear their rave. Like they're having a rave word that starts with O <laughs> right now, <laughs> which I would say if it wasn't YouTube. But like sometimes I say things and I really should just shut up. Like I really have such a big mouth. I know. <laughs> um, Found this card. Found this card. I'm going to keep this. There was It was the only SpongeBob card they had left. And my nephew's birthday is in November, but I've already started buying all the SpongeBob things because I want to like hit him with the SpongeBob. You know how it is. Because Aunt Randa loves SpongeBob and everybody knows it. And they love that I love it. And they love it because I love it. And I got to spread the love. So that's literally, yeah. Holy smokes. I thought I spent 20 something. I spent $14.19. <laughs> I think that's like a world record. And actually... I didn't even have a cart. I just walked around. And I realized something. I like Dollarama a lot more when I don't buy a whole bunch of stuff in one go. When I buy like a cute little, like I can walk around like a cute mom and like hold my stuff in my arm like this. You know, just, <laughs> why do I think that's cute? I really don't know. Cause well, normally when I go to the Dollarama, I feel like a hot sweaty mess of trying to buy everything. And like, it's, I annoy myself. True story. <laughs> what did I pick up at Winners? Okay. <laughs> there was a lot of choices as you could clearly see. Now I am going to try to change my ways just a bit because I have so many mugs. Okay. And I love them. And my collection is amazing and exciting and I want it to grow but I just don't want it to become like a hoarder situation. So, <laughs> which is like, I don't want to blur that line, okay, ever, because that show literally makes me physically sick just to watch it. So I'm never going to become a hoarder, but I just want to make sure that I'm taking every step necessary to not become one. Um, okay, so that being said, am I going to continue to buy mugs? Yes. Absolutely, of course, <laughs> like, uh-huh. Um, but what I'm gonna try to do, which I was like talking to myself on the way to winners in the car, um, a little bit out loud, a little bit in my head, um, but I was like saying, okay, what makes sense is to buy um, mugs with different people on them or different characters on them because I already have so many Mickey and Minnie mugs I really should stop buying new Mickey or Minnie mugs unless okay because there's like a unless it's a holiday themed one okay so like what do we have coming up Halloween do I have any Halloween mugs nope not a one not one Halloween mug. I know. So yes, I am looking for Halloween mugs. Well, with Disney. Um, do I have Christmas Disney mugs? A couple. I think two, maybe three. Um, and I will continue to look and buy more Disney um, holiday mugs. Also like Thanksgiving. Um, <laughs> for some reason, I was like, sit in the master's chair. Bet the booch. <laughs> Valentine's Day. Easter, all of these things. I don't have any Disney mugs. I do have like a couple um, cute themed. I don't know if there are any like specifically Disney, but because the, my Disney mug collection only just started this year. And now that I have six shelves filled, it's like, girl, <laughs> it's exciting. So what I am doing is just buying characters that I don't have yet or that I have very little of or very exciting ones or holiday ones. You don't need to remember any of this. It's just for me to remember and also for me to explain because a lot of the times I get messages like, oh my goodness, I can't believe you left that one there. And it's like, I can't buy it all guys. <laughs> I can't, I do have to make calls whilst 
shopping and I need to like be smart, you know, like I, I, I need to be smart. Anyways, so what did I get? Okay, we're getting to it. Tinkerbell. Mm. And I say this, I hashtag this on Instagram all the time. Never grow up. Never grow up. Look at her. What a queen. What a queen. And it's purple. Hello. Purple and green wedding colors. My wedding. Yes. Um, which was in 2005. Yeah. I know. We've been married a long time. Isn't that awesome? Love it. So exciting. $9.99. Amazing. And I got one other mug. I know I only got two. I know. I got no space for it. Like, what am I going to do? I, I literally thought, okay, dad, make me two more shelves and then like, I'll be good till next year. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit crazy. Um, Winnie the Pooh guys. How, I mean, you like, this is gorgeous. Look at this. It's a honey pot. Are you kidding me? Like, this is stunning to me. This is friggin' decor. <laughs> it sounded like I was saying something else there, but like, this is home decor. I'm so immature. Anyways, I love this. This one was $12.99. Like, amazing to me. Like, this just makes me so happy. This is going to be like an eye catcher. Like, it's going to be one of the ones when I look up at all of my beautiful mug art, I'm just going to stare into Winnie's eyes and just love it so much. This is beautiful to me. I love it. I adore it. Um, also, I got some nail polish. I just painted my nails this morning. Aren't they fabulous? Um, this is just a base coat. I need a new, new base coat. So got that. I have been looking for more um, paint colors because I also, you know, self-care, treat yourself. Um, but they haven't had any good ones for quite a while. So I'm hoping that they get some like fall colors out soon. What I want is more colors like this, um, but less neon-y. Okay. <laughs> this is like in my attempt at a less neon nail this morning. Um, which I think I, I think I hit it. There's never a bad time to buy dish towels. And if you put a Disney character on a dish towel, that is just like the okay for me to like buy some more dish towels because dish towels don't last forever especially in this house because we abuse them a little bit honestly we do we're not super nice to our dish towels we wipe the floor with them we throw them overboard which is throw them down the stairs we call it overboard i don't know ever since skylar was little <laughs> the kids are playing <laughs> i love hearing them laugh i know someday i will miss that it makes me so happy. Okay, moving on. Um, so I got some dish towels. Yeah, here we go. I know. Um, they did have a lot of white ones. I did buy white ones before. I don't really want to buy white ones again because those get ruined the quickest. Um, but I mean, look at Minnie. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? She's freaking gorgeous. Like, she's looking at you. I think she likes you. Are you hot? You're hot. Yeah, Minnie thinks you're hot. Um, but don't look at Mickey. Like, oh, that little smile. I love it so much. Oh, he's cheesing, guys. I love it. Oh, my heck. So these are both $9.99 each. Um, it's like five bucks a dish towel for a Disney dish towel. I know. It's amazing. To me, that's amazing. So I'm happy to have these. They're going to go right into the washer and dryer and then right into the rotation. I mean, there's a Mickey one right there. I love it. I just love having a Disney towel. It's just so cute. I love it so much. Anyways, that's literally all that I got. Am I good guys? When it's two o'clock and you haven't had lunch yet and you don't wanna make lunch and it's a lot of work to make lunch and you still haven't cleaned up from your kids lunch, that's when you're glad that you did a little prepping. A couple days ago, I went to the market and I prepped these green beans and carrots and they have come in clutch, not only for me at home and for with the kids as well, because they had a cup of green beans to go with their lunch today. Um, but also Curtis has been dipping into these to bring them to work. So that's amazing. And then I thought ahead a little while back and bought these individual sized ranch dips because I'm the only one who likes ranch dip and it's so much less wasteful because I can't eat a whole tub of ranch by myself quick enough. Um, so I have this, and then of course, the pretzel crisps. I'm obsessed with these right now. 
They are seriously so good. You like them too, don't you? That's why they I were. Bought them. Mm, you have them in your room last night? Yes, I did. Mm hmm. <laughs> so bye butter. <laughs> <sighs> that feeling when you put the last load of dirty laundry in the washer. <sighs> it's a good feeling. We waited a long time for this moment, actually all week, because my dryer had an issue this week, but now Curtis fixed it. So <sighs> now I feel good. Now I'm ready to go camping and come home with some more laundry to do. <laughs> Mom life. <laughs> hey friends, I hope you have a good day. Thumbs up. <laughs> I love you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Bye.